William and Kate just visited Shawkat Khan and Memorial Cancer Hospital, a hospital that may not exist today if it wasn't for Princess Diana and her humanitarian efforts back when the facility first opened in the 90s. This next segment celebrates the People's Princess and her time in Pakistan. In 1991, Diana celebrated the 10th anniversary of her fairy tale wedding. That September, the 30 year old princess traveled to Pakistan for the first time. The three day trip was also her first official solo tour as a royal. It was significant for so many reasons. Here she is standing on her own. She's so very, very, very far from home. But Pakistan, interestingly, was a place that Diana was drawn to at several points throughout her life. And when she visited the first time, she really put a focus on some of the issues that mattered a lot to her. This was an official royal tour, but like Diana was known to, to do, she put a humanitarian spin on it. She wanted to get close to the people of Pakistan. She wanted to shine a light on causes that were important to her, drug abuse and homelessness. It was homelessness, it was, it was children, it was babies, it was the people of Pakistan. And it was her opportunity solo to really embrace that and make a difference, which she did. Days one and two, Diana spent visiting a family welfare center in Islamabad, along with a mosque and a women's college in Lahore. On her third and final day, she traveled northwest to the Khyber Pass to meet with military personnel. I think it was important for her to do her solo trip because when she did trips with Charles, she always came across as very shy and very demure, and she was slightly more in that royal role of being his wife and slightly standing back. And this was such an important thing for her because it really showed that actually she was a very strong woman. She actually had a real core to her. She could handle it solo. She could go. She could make an impact. She could make a difference. And she could handle it. Five years later, in February 1996, Diana returned to Lahore to attend a fundraising event for the largest cancer hospital in Pakistan. The facility was recently opened by Diana's good friend, former cricket champion and national hero, Imran Khan. I'm sad that the visit is being termed as political. The fact is that it, this hospital is not political. Treating poor patients free in a third world country, a modern cancer institute, that's not political. Diana had long been passionate about fighting cancer and helping children. So we had seen her make several of these trips around the world for this cause in recent months. Diana is in a period in her life when she is in a lot of personal turmoil. She's kind of careening toward the final stages of her marriage. And one thing Diana really made clear throughout her life was no matter what hurdles, curveballs, scandals, controversies were thrown her way, that was never going to stop her from doing the good work that filled her up. So I think by traveling to Pakistan when she did in the midst of all of that misery, she really made the point, I'm still doing what I care about, I'm still helping people in need and Imran Khan, who was a close friend of hers. He's a very clever man for taking her there because to take her to a fundraiser there for this new hospital that had opened for cancer, I don't think they could have believed how that would have affected the fundraising. It was an incredible moment. If you had Diana's name attached to it, it just took things to another level. Mum, would you say a few words about the visit? Right here. No, because I've only just arrived, so I haven't seen anything. Okay. Diana was back in Pakistan the following year, once again to raise money for Imran Khan's hospital. This is the only private cancer hospital in the world that treats 80% of its patients free. That was a place she wanted to go. She loved the Pakistani people. She loved that project. I think she really just wanted to make an impact. Her coming here and launching this fund means we have a chance of collecting our $25 million. It gives us public relationing profile, we were able to, because of her, invite the top donors in this country, which we wouldn't have got normally. In addition to increasing awareness for the Children's Hospital and bringing in donors, she also spent a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the patients and with the children. That was really quintessential Diana. I saw her firsthand with children, with sick children, dying children, terminally ill children. She was incredible. She had a real passion for it. There's a very big difference between duty and passion. And I think Diana had the passion to do things. This was Diana's last trip to Pakistan. Three months later, she was gone. 
Diana's impact on Pakistan is really something special, and her legacy there remains really strong. She's really beloved for the light she was able to shine there, and the places that she visited are still benefiting from Diana's magic.